I bet with Interbet only. They're a fantastic site. I've never had any issues with them. They are very professional. There's never a problem. You deposit money, two seconds later it's in your account. You withdraw, which I do very occasionally. And uh, I believe it's also two seconds it's in your account. Race number eight, this is the Golden Horse Sprint, a grade one over the 1200 meter trip. 15.45 is the off time, race number eight. And before we get into race number eight, the final of our four uh, grade ones on the day, we've got uh, a rerun for you and then uh, that will be followed by an interview to make up he's got six seven lengths to make up and now starting to run on 300 meters left to go winter greeting towards the outside Sergey emerges as a danger down the center rulership is still right there lucky lad is now warming to the task and he comes home strongly with i am giant Sergey, lucky lad those finishing best of all down the inside and it's gonna be lucky lad to win it lucky lad wins it from i am giant Sergey and winter greeting Cruise control, he's, he's a very good horse. He's done exceptionally well for Gavin Smith. He's, he hasn't been here for a long time, so I'm a little bit in the middle as to assessing what his chances are. But I think just looking at his form, he's won his last three races, a very fast horse. And uh, he's settled in well, he's eating well, and I'm happy with his training at the moment. So uh, once again, I would include him in quartets, trifectas, and exotics. Mm -hmm. Well, having a look at the market for race number eight, Lucky Lad, your two to one favorite. It's uh, nine to two about number seven, Dice, seven to one about Sergey, and then it's ten to one and better ball those. Now, uh, race number eight, this is a, a race where uh, I'm, I'm going to take a chance and bank a one horse in the final leg of, of the jackpot and then uh, and take another poem where I include a couple of other horses. Now, the horse that I'm going to bank is number 11, Lucky Lad. Now, I've been of the opinion for a few months now that this horse, come Golden Horse Sprint Day, he'll win. And I, I remain in uh, the same in the same headspace as I has as I have done for the last three months. And uh, I, I just think he's a, he's a brilliant horse. He's a three-year son of Give Me the Green Light. He won his first four starts, and then unfortunately things went wrong for him on Gold Cup Day last year, last uh, last uh, year when uh, he just failed to. Um, get luck in running he was awkward he was wide things just did not go his way you ignore that run and he's been given a long break sean terry brought him back nicely he ran fourth and then second and then last time out he won nicely when beating i am giant now he doesn't find himself on the best terms with sergey who was very close up in third position that day but i think that lucky lad is he's, he's just a cracking cracking horse and i think that he could get the job done in this golden horse sprint Obviously, Sean Terry does not have no Thunderstruck, so uh, no other horse uh, to his uh, armor here. But um, I think Lucky Lad is uh, is going to go very close. And then number four, number three, Sergey rather, he's uh, had to settle for second and third behind uh, some very good horses in the past. The likes of Gimme a Prince, uh, Gladiatorian, Isi Vungu Vungu, Thunderstruck, and uh, I'm sure that for connections, they'll be hoping that it is finally his day to shine. Samanga Kamalo gets a ride. He's got 54 and a half cages on the back, so he's going to be a massive player. And then the obvious horse, number seven, Dice, who's been Galden now. And I'm interested to see how he is after Galden because he was a Colt. But uh, after his last two starts, I'm sure that the connections would have been scratching their heads. So they've decided to Geld him, and uh, he could be a totally different horse. And uh, if he is, well, then uh, there's any amount of improvement to come from the son of William Longsword. So it's just uh, numbers three, seven, and uh, 11, the numbers that I think that can win here. But uh, number 11, Lucky Lad, he's going to be the top choice for me and the horse that um, I will be taking my chances at bankering him in one perm of, uh, of that carryover jackpot. Quick question, Quasi for sure, would you include him in the back end of quartets? I think back in of quartet chance, I, I definitely believe trifecta quartet chance. I, I, in terms of as being a top class sprinter, I don't think he's quite that, but uh, trifecta quartet chance for sure. Okay, you've uh, mentioned Lucky Lad, you've mentioned your numbers. I don't want to go on too much more for the Golden Horse Sprint Grade 1, uh, but Sergey, uh, yes, Lucky Lad is my first choice. Uh, I'm going to be taking as many box exactors as I can afford with Sergey. I'm not sure what they'll pay, but on these big days, with big pools, etc., payouts could be uh, could be handsome. So, number three, Sergey, who is uh, the second choice, uh, 
his confidence levels might be a bit low, 567 days since his last win, but his form is good. You've heard it all from Rahil. He's in the camp of 11, lucky lad. I'm also in the camp of 11, lucky lad, but huge respect for number three, Sergei. He's bankering, lucky lad. I'm putting in two horses only. Sergei, lucky lad. Anybody else wins? We're out. Uh, my name's Danny Diliberto, founder of Ladles of Love. It was founded back in 2014. Communities we, s we work with are all over the peninsula and um, we're working with 138 beneficiaries now. We've grown exponentially. Um, we've been able to do that because of all the kindness that we have experienced um, from individuals and corporates such as uh, Interbet who just want to be part of the change.